Let's examine how you can craft a top grade nine response to question number three of the English language paper one exam. Now, when it comes to this question, this is basically the structure question. You always tend to get asked by AQA how the writer has structured the text to interest you as a reader. Now that you know, hopefully, what to anticipate for question number three, I'd like to show you how you can write a top grade nine response based on the 2020 paper. But of course, with this response, have a think of how you can also apply some of the elements within this response to other question threes of paper one exams, okay? So this question, as I mentioned, relates to the 2020 Rosie exam. This is the one to do with Rosie and the stranger child. However, of course, as I've mentioned, this is a grade nine response, but think about and have a think as to how you can apply some of these methods to other question threes of language paper one. As I mentioned, this question is the structure question. It tends to ask you how the writer structure the text to interest you as a reader and you're always interested as a reader okay you never say that you're bored out of your head even if you find the text quite boring you're always interested and you find elements structural elements that illustrate your interest okay now my suggestion when writing a response to this is i would suggest adopting the peel paragraph structure peel basically stands for point evidence explanation and link okay you open with your point which i've uh, written in blue then you move on to your evidence which i've put in red then you add your explanation okay so this is where you talk about technique in this case structural technique and then you start unpacking that that's the bulk of your marks that's where a lot of your marks will be taken from uh, this is in your second e in your pill paragraph this is your explanation and then of course you end by linking it back to the question this is what i've written in purple linking it back to the keywords within the question so let's have a look at how to write a full mark paragraph for the 2020 uh, question paper, okay? And this is a four mark, one paragraph. I suggest you do these times two for the eight marker for question number three. So of course, as I mentioned, the question asks how the writer structure the text to interest you as a reader. And my suggestion in terms of the keywords in the question is always structure. So you're thinking about structural techniques as opposed to language techniques and how this structure interests you as a reader, you are always interested. So let's have a look at the point that I'd made relating to structure for this particular question where Rosie sees the stranger child and then it disappears. So this is the opening point. The writer successfully interests us as readers by using a circular narrative at the start and the end of the passage. Circular structure is a really powerful device. If you're able to spot it, it's a great grade nine technique when it comes to structure. Circular narrative simply means it starts in a certain way and it ends in a really similar way, okay? So for example, um, within this extract, the passage starts with an empty garden and it ends with an empty garden. It's in the middle where we meet the stranger child. However, it starts empty and ends empty. That's basically what I'm starting off with. But I don't stop there. I add an additional sentence to my opening point. The garden seems eerie and abandoned at the start and the end, and we wonder whether it is enchanted. Not only have I mentioned the use of circular structure and circular technique by the author, Author, which is structure but equally I've talked about beginning versus end I'm juxtaposing the two so I'm really hitting all the different points in my AOs and what the examiner is seeking in this question okay so that's the opening point relating to structure and how it interests you by the way if you're looking at an extract and it starts at one point and ends at a different point you can still talk about how structure is interesting where it begins at a certain point and ends in a completely different place that's still a really good structural technique to talk about let's look at the um, the evidence okay and obviously here within the evidence for question number three I will suggest if you're juxtaposing beginning versus end and in this case is structure how it's circular at the start and the end you want to find a bit of evidence from the opening paragraph and a bit of evidence from the end to support your uh, what you've written in your point. So this is the evidence. At first, Rosie's children were playing in the empty overgrown garden. That's my first bit of evidence taken from early on in the text. But then I juxtapose it. Even if Rosie sees a child, by the end when she stepped outside, the child was gone. I've added two bits of evidence, one from the beginning, one from the end, to juxtapose the two. Now I'm gonna launch into my explanation talking about the use of structure by the author. The writer uses a complex sentence Again, I'm adding even more structure to really make my answer compelling for my examiner. My examiner has no choice but to say, this is an amazing paragraph, okay? So the writer uses 
uses a complex sentence additional structural technique at the start of the extract to illustrate how empty the garden is. Aside from Rosie's children, it seems eerily empty. Yet Rosie sees the stranger child, but when she approaches it at the end, the small the the final declarative sentence takes us back to an empty garden which captivates us as we wonder whether rosie is hallucinating or not what i have done in my explanation is the first half of my explanation in my first two sentences i've talked about how the opening is like i've said in the opening it's basically empty and the writer uses a complex sentence to emphasize this however i've then juxtaposed it at the end okay and i've said okay the declarative sentence at the end actually also shows it ends off in an empty garden even if in the middle there's a stranger child actually rosie steps out and sees there's nobody there by the way if you're not sure what uh, structural techniques there are please do check out uh, the language and structural techniques video that I've done where I go over a list of these different techniques okay so if you're not entirely sure what complex sentences or declarative sentence just check out that video it's only about five minutes okay anyway so going back to this the bulk of your marks are here okay so of course you need to still for um create foregrounding with your point your evidence right you're setting out your argument as to why it's really interesting you start off with your point say it's circular structure you then have your evidence from the beginning versus the end however you then now need to make a case and really dissect okay at the beginning this is really interesting because it's empty even if there's a child in the middle actually by the end the garden is still eerily empty we have this eerie sense of feeling and on top of that i keep on referring back to us as readers it captivates us okay i never lose sight of the fact that i have to mention this in relation to how this interests us as readers now i then have to still add a final step in my pill paragraph this is linking it back to the question hence the writer maintains our intrigue so this is our interest as readers by using a circular narrative to create curiosity around the stranger child we are keen to read on to discover if it will reappear in this overgrown garden what i have done is ended by linking it back to the question and relating it to how it interests us as readers using two separate sentences okay so this is a perfect i would argue grade nine paragraph response and you want to aim to do two of these in your question number three for language paper one this is a structure question okay so do make sure you just have a look back at this video look at how i go over the separate parts of my peel paragraph and, and try yourself to apply this okay try to apply this in your own writing for question number three